Let me draw here a triangle. This is a triangle. These are three sides of this triangle and these are three vertices of this triangle. Let me name them these vertices. Here will be A, B, and C. Suppose I have P, it is equal to 90 degree. Dear students, as you know that the opposite side of angle 90 degree of a triangle is always called the hypotenuse of the triangle. So we can say AC is hypotenuse of this very triangle. Similarly, let me take another angle and give the name it theta. Similarly, the opposite side of angle theta is always called perpendicular of the triangle. Here is opposite side BC of theta. So we can say BC is the perpendicular of this triangle. Perpendicular. And third side which is called adjacent side of these two sides or it is also called the base of the triangle. Dear students, as we know that the knowledge of the trigonometry has got first by the Greeks, so they took the ratio of these sides of the triangle. First, they took ratio of perpendicular by hypotenuse and another ratio they took perpendicular by hypotenuse, another ratio they took base by hypotenuse and 
third ratio they took perpendicular by base perpendicular by hypotenuse first ratio they gave it the name sin of theta and it is short form is sin theta s i n first key and it is s i n theta sin sin of theta and another ratio they to base by hypotenuse and gave it the name cosine of theta it is short form is cos of theta first three alphabets are cosine of theta and third one ratio they took perpendicular by base perpendicular by base and gave the name it tangent of theta and the short form is tan of theta Dear students, we go now on the reciprocals of these three ratios. Here we have the sine theta equal to perpendicular to hypotenuse, and its reciprocal is hypotenuse by perpendicular. and they gave the name it cosecant of theta and it is short form is cosec of theta another ratio is here base by hypotenuse cos theta base by hypotenuse it is s property is hypotenuse by base and they gave the name it secant of theta or sec theta the third one ratio is perpendicular to the base which is tan theta perpendicular to beta base it is reciprocal is perpendicular to base it is reciprocal is base beta perpendicular and they gave the name it cotangent of cotangent of theta it is short form is cot of theta now we have six ratios we have now six ratios first sin theta which is perpendicular to hypotenuse second is cos theta which is base by hypotenuse third is tan theta which is perpendicular by base and fourth is cosec theta which is reciprocal of this sin theta hypotenuse by perpendicular and fifth is sec theta which is reciprocal of this hypotenuse by base and sixth is cot theta which is reciprocal of this base by perpendicular dear friends now 
we go on the relations of the ratios. The relations of the ratios. We have sin theta, which is equal to perpendicular beta hypotenuse. We can write it 1 by hypotenuse by perpendicular. Since hypotenuse by perpendicular, hypotenuse by perpendicular is cosine theta. So we can write here 1 divided by cosec theta or we can say sin theta equal to 1 by cosec theta it is a relation between sin and cosec similarly cosec theta is equal to 1 by sin theta it is another relation of it now we go on cos theta which is equal to base by hypotenuse we can write it 1 by hypotenuse by base as we know that hypotenuse by base is equal to sec theta so we can write here 1 by sec theta or cos theta equal to 1 by sec theta it is another relation similarly sec theta equal to 1 by cos theta now we go on tan theta since tan theta is equal to perpendicular beta base We can write it 1 by base by perpendicular since perpendicular beta base base by perpendicular base by perpendicular is equal to cot theta so we can write here 1 by cot theta or we can say tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta it is another relation between tan and cot similarly cot theta is equal to 1 by tan it is one more relation between cot and tan we have some more relations between sin cos and tan dear students as we know that sin theta is equal to perpendicular beta hypotenuse and cos theta is equal to base beta hypotenuse when we took ratio between them when we take ratio between them so we can write sin theta by cos theta equal to perpendicular beta hypotenuse divided by base beta hypotenuse here hypotenuse and hypotenuse that is h and h will cancel out so we can get here perpendicular beta base perpendicular beta base Perpendicular beta base is equal to tan theta, 
so we can write here perpendicular base equal to tan theta or sin theta by cos theta equal to tan theta it is another relation between sin cos and tan now we take here cos theta which is equal to base beta hypotenuse base beta hypotenuse and sin theta which is equal to perpendicular beta hypotenuse when we take its ratios we can write here it as cos theta by sin theta and perpendicular beta hypotenuse by base beta hypotenuse by perpendicular beta hypotenuse here hypotenuse and hypotenuse that is h and h will cancel out so we can get base by perpendicular here base by perpendicular is equal to cot theta so we write here cot theta or cos theta divided by sin theta equal to cot theta so it is one more relation between cos sin and cot so dear students these are the some important uh, relational ratios of this very topic trigonometry which are most important for you so it is session 2 for today thank you